these two G.I. Joe mission sets need figures. Let's make it happen. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is a review of two G.I. Joe mission sets. This one is from 2001. This one is from 2002. Now these mission sets came out yearly, uh, different ones that they have had, but no figure. So you would take a, uh, a figure and either add this gear to it or just uh, leave it in a box. Well, sorry, Jai Cedric, MIB. Uh, I don't leave anything in the box, as you know. So these two kits are going to get figures. I have a loose uh, G.I. Joe Army figure here that I found at a toy store. I also have another figure here. Uh, he's not a Navy SEAL. As you can see, it's a U.S. Army, but we're going to make it work for this uh, Navy SEAL mission, uh, Stinger mission set. And uh, hopefully make it look uh, like the figure on back. Um, a lot of... Uh, a lot of you know I collect a lot of G.I. Joe's, if you can't tell, and uh, I don't leave anything in the box. So anytime I do find a mission set or one of those uh, kits that have a lot of uh, stuff in it, I try to find a loose G.I. Joe somewhere and uh, make sure I kit them up and create a new uh, G.I. Joe outfit. So as you can tell here, this, uh, this mop gear set uh, from Desert Storm, that did not come with a figure. So I got a figure and put it on this firefighter. Uh, smoke jumper, same deal. Um, this nurse outfit, you know, this nurse uh, came that way, but this one was just a medic set, uh, hospital set. So I created another nurse and uh, gave her that gear. So, um, so I do that with all the uh, mission sets, uh, mission gear, things like that. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, kit these two figures up and uh, show you what they look like. Okay, so here they are, all kitted up, got all their gear out, and uh, looking pretty good. Just going to add them to the uh, collection. Again, this is the uh, Modern Army Day gear on this loose figure army gentleman that I found. He has his uh, huge laptop computer. Again, these are 20 years old. Um, he's got his... Uh, Camel back on there. Camel pack for his water, but all he's geared with is a pistol. So I'm assuming this is a, a comms guy of some sort. Does have two smoke grenades though, just in case. And our Navy SEAL Stinger mission set from, uh, again, early 2000s. This was kind of interesting putting on. The, uh, the belt does not come open, so you have to slide it up over all his pants and gear and tuck that belt around and then finally attach all the uh, all the accessories all the pouches and everything are velcro so there's that's kind of nice you can move those around but uh the uh the weapon itself the stinger is uh kind of top heavy so i had to get some uh, wire and attach it just so he wasn't falling over um you can only hold it really like that but he'd probably be on a knee anyhow when he's firing it so but I like it, and I've been looking it for looking for this uh, Stinger mission set for a long time. Finally found it online on eBay. I put a uh, 
short video on me unboxing this and uh, I know uh, my buddy Johnny up in Ohio is probably just sh getting the shivers up there me opening up a box that's 20 years old <laughs> but uh, if you haven't checked out his website his uh, YouTube channel make sure you check it out it's uh, MIB mint in box and uh, he has all these figures I'm sure all these kits all these accessories still in the box so if you're trying to find them loose in the wild He's a great resource to uh, look up. Again, I haven't done much with my 12-inch figures, 12-inch G.I. Joe collection, so here you go for all you people that have been following my channel and wanting some uh, stuff on the 12-inch uh, G.I. Joes. Here's two new more ones that I'm adding to the collection. Again, thanks for watching, and as always, keep on collecting.